Hey, what's up, fam? I am back in Slab City. I've been here for a couple of days again. I am presently pulling security for a friend of a friend, Billy the Water Guy. And he's got a really good setup, and I thought that this might be something valuable to some of you, you know? Just kind of an idea of what it takes to be able to live here year round with some degree of comfort, you know? Billy's place has power, water, flushing toilet, um, an air conditioning unit. <laughs> it's pretty much all the creature comforts you need, right? Refrigeration, an oven, stove top, all those kinds of things. And it's all run off-grid, solar. Billy is also the water guy, or one of the water guys, and he trucks the stuff in. But he does other things too. We might get into some of that. So, first off, the water setups. And these things, this is the water uh, cube, let's call it. The water cube plus the stand. Uh, you can get them then for about 200 bucks from Billy or Alice. Billy, the water guy, Alice over at Wanderland Healing Camp, and uh, Jerry at Jerry's place. Jerry doesn't sell his, though. He rents them. So it'll cost you less to get the setup, but no other water person will fill it. Uh, refills are about 40 bucks, last I heard. Now, I wanted to take a look over here at the cooling system. It's primitive, but it works, right? So here we have well, the back half of it. This is the filter, the air intake. On the other side of that, there's like a 14-inch uh, fan unit. I th think this is just straight-up air. I looked inside, didn't see any coils, really. I mean, you know, it's got water running into it, so it's it's got to have coils in there somewhere. Uh, the, cool, the cooling element is water. However, it gets so hot out here that at some point the water feed isn't enough to keep it cool. And so what Billy did was he just ran a three-quarter hose up into the side and it just dumps water on that filter and at that point, it's basically a swamp cooler. And you're taking advantage of the evaporative cooling effect of water. So, not quite air conditioning, but it's pretty good for what you're dealing with out here in the slabs, usually high heat, low humidity. And the water comes out of those tanks Hits this pump, pump has a switch inside, hits the manifold, and goes to where you need it to go. And the problem with having it set up quite like this is you can't just run that water. So every half hour you're hitting that switch, dumping more water into the top of your fan. And it's a lot better than the alternatives and frankly it's probably the only way you can live indoors under hard cover year round out here. I also want to take the time to point out that giant metal pole. I don't know why it's there but I approve. And you know I guess that's about all I wanted to show you for right now, just the water setups, the cubes, and the, uh, the swamp cooler, or the AC, whatever it is. I'm gonna go check with Billy and see if he's alright with me posting this first. Then, uh, hopefully he's okay with it and you'll be able to see it.